Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have we got Mulatto on being black. Roddy Rich getting sued. The Fresh Prince and Aunt Viv make up. Lil Boosie with the leg update and 21 Savage with a loss. Oh, and Pookie Loke's son has something to say as well. Again, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. If this is your first time to the channel, it's about time you two put us in your feed, man. Breathe a sigh of relief. We here now. Hit the sub button since you ain't doing nothing else with your fingers. At least I hope you ain't. Hit the thumbs up button if we make you crack a smile or give you a hit of dopamine. Yo, leave a comment down below if we have our if we have our people ready to keep it live. But be sure to bring your A game if you're trying to grab a mic and say something in the comment section. Now step into the stage. From the wrong side is Big Lotto, or as her stage name proper dictates, Mulatto. No, just the mere mention of her name is a trigger for folks. Yo, I'm sure it has nothing to do with her, but the word mulatto. See, apparently the word means a person who is of mixed descent with a parent that is black and the other parent being white. But the word is considered an offensive term. Something about the word meaning mule, which is the offspring of a horse and a donkey. I, look, I guess the idea is we shouldn't be referred to as animals. And you know, back in the days, they used to talk about us like we was animals. Like, you know, when folks compare black people to monkeys. In fact, didn't Mulatto refer to her friend as a pet orangutan or something like that? Look, I'm pretty sure I covered it on our Cardi B divorce video. Nevertheless, Mulatto is being put on the grill because in an interview approximately a year ago, she said, quote, I don't like identifying with anything specific, but if I had to, I'd say I'm biracial mulatto. I don't like saying I'm white or black, close quote. But recently, in a tweet after being accused of doing black businesses dirty, she stated, quote, I am black, I'm a black dumb behind B. Who gonna hush me? Close quote. Well, Twitter raised his hand promptly before she could finish her sentence and came for that behind saying, quote, so you're telling me y'all didn't think a girl named Mulatto would be colorist? Close quote. Another person came through by the name of Diet Daiki. Yeah, I did that on purpose. They, they said, quote, the crazy thing is, Mulatto is actually quite talented and cute, but her calling people trannies, calling black women orangutans and stealing from black owned businesses make it impossible for me to stand. She needs to grow the F up. Another person called Brown Skin Honey pulled a I'm not one to talk, but and said, quote, Mulatto's name perpetuates colorism. That's odd. Isn't her name Brown Skin? Uh, forget it. M Mulatto's name perpetuates colorism. She just started identifying with being black now that the majority of her audience is black. She calls her dark skin friend a monkey, fam. Close quote. And lastly, someone else said, quote, so Mulatto can't be black, although one of her parents is indeed black, but Cardi B can be black, although neither of her parents is fully black. Somebody please make it make sense. Close quote. Lady. You make it make sense, okay? It's not our job. Look, Cardi B and Fat Joe can say the N-word. And Mulatto somehow ain't fully black, even though she definitely has a black parent. Fruit Loops are different colors, but the same flavor. You always see your nose, but you didn't notice it until I just said that. You're 10 times more likely to get bitten by a person than a shark. Look, things just don't make sense. You like, yeah, like your subscriber count. Look, don't come for me, bruh, okay? We was talking about Mulatto. Look, Roddy Rich has been accused of not paying his rent. Now, just for the record, I do not believe this story, okay? But this is what this is what they allege. Now, your boy has been paying, get this, $15,950 a month. A month. Y'all y'all give me a second while I wait for some of our viewers to get up off the floor for that one, okay? He was damn near paying $16,000 a month, but gave up the residence in August, breaking his lease. Look, j just to reiterate, right? I do not believe this about your boy. Uh, Roddy Rich stated, uh, so, stated, Roddy Rich started living there in April, but supposedly stopped paying rent in July. 
15 9 my dude look if you pay those numbers right these clowns will charge those numbers if you're willing to pay it these clowns will charge it honestly i, I find numbers like that to be offensive like someone tried it's like if someone is asking me right to pay that kind of number i feel like they are trying me directly i found myself dropping a bag just because the lady thought that i couldn't pay for a particular product but but you know what your boy celeb did i came right back the next day customer service and pulled a return move okay because picture me dropping hundreds of dollars just so someone can merely look at me and say oh he looked nice he must be paid Let's flip out of here with that okay jeff bezos ain't never looked paid if you know what i mean Look, by now, I'm sure, right, you heard about the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air reunion show. Look, you young bucks are probably not aware of this, but Will Smith was, get this, a rapper. Uh, this is kind of how most of us remember him starting out. The track we remember was Parents Just Don't Understand. He was running around in the whole nine yards. It was great, okay? Anyhow, DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince found themselves later on on a television show, which was a pretty decent show, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. And after like three seasons or so, the mother figure, Aunt Viv, was replaced by another woman who was supposed to play the same character, but she was a bit lighter. Uh, dare I say, a whole lot lighter, okay? She was like, look, the difference was night and day. And the show made it fired from the show and blamed him for getting fired for years. She even said, quote, there will never be a reunion as I will never do anything with a butthole like Will Smith. Close quote. Word. Who, who says Will Smith is a butthole? I thought he was like one of the, the perfect guys that allows this lady to. OK, whatever. Look, in the spirit of Gucci and Jeezy. The two were able to patch up their differences after the feud that lasted for years. Hey, yo, check out this little clip right here. I was uh, 21 years old. Yeah, you know? I know. Um, I know. Everything was a threat. I've been uh, divorced and I a second marriage and I can see now the level of pain and the level of struggle that it was for you just to show everything, up. Everything, everything. And I understand you were able to move forward, but you know those words, calling a black woman difficult mm -hmm. in Hollywood is the kiss of death. Mm -hmm. It's the kiss of death, and it's hard enough being a dark-skinned black woman. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry that I have blasted you to pieces. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it is um, so... Um, first of all, thank you for uh, sharing that with me. I, I felt like you hated me. I, I could not, not celebrate you. Celebrate your contribution to this show. Celebrate your contribution to my life, you know? And I mean you. <laughs> I think I think we were just short of 27 years that we didn't uh, speak to one another. And I'm just I'm I'm glad we're talking again. The person I want to be is someone. They're both ugly. <sighs> and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I'm sorry too. We could. We good. We could. <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking Squashing the beef. Look, not only, right? Like, look, only if the president could share intel and details about COVID-19 with the president-elect, we Oxy has decided to provide us with an update concerning his amputated leg. You like, they chopped it? No, it's still there. Look. Your boy stated, look at the letdown in your face. Your boy stated, quote, out the hospital, hashtag at home, thanks to all the ones who prayed for me. And yeah, I still got my leg. Close quote. Look, you, you know, you know who I'm thinking about, right? I'm like, my nigga. Your boy still has his leg, is at the crib. In fact, today, I believe he went to go, um, performed the third surgery or something like that he gave a shout out to all those that prayed for him and still has his left we were starting to talk about 
diamond encrusted leg implants like the bionic joints you see what i'm saying yo mark my words that's gonna be a thing and you know where you heard it first right dude's gonna be in the video showing off their amputated bionic limbs with ice all over the joint it's gonna be insane then folks gonna start chopping their bodies parts off on purpose just to get the new jump offs look if you're writing on yourself with permanent ink you think iced out bionic arms are far off come on now 21 Savage pulled a move on King Von's sister by finishing off what Von started and buying her a new Range Rover and gave her 21 roses. And we are hoping that someone looks out for him now because in devastating news, 21 Savage's brother, whose rap name is TM One Way, was recently killed in London, England. Yes, he, he was stabbed to death during an argument. 21 Savage expressed his grief on the gram when he stated, quote, I can't believe somebody took you, baby bro. I know I took my anger out on you. I wish I could take that ish back. Close quote. Damn, that's whack, man. Yo, that man made a statement that we have no guarantee won't be a statement won't be a statement that we won't be making next week. So your boy Celeb tries to make sure he acts with no regret. And I think you should do the same. Look, love your people's heart, bro. On some real ish, man. Cause everybody that lost a loved one saw them for the last time at some point. Yo, check this out, right? If you have grown kids, there was a time when you played with them for the last time. You follow me? Like there was a last time you took them to the park. I mean, they could be old as crap now. There still was the last time you did it. Watch, when you go to the park, there's going to be a bunch of old ass on, on, on a swing. You see what I'm saying? And finally, uh, the Gucci Jeezy battle, right? You know, this has been all the rage lately for the last couple of days. Now, what wind up happening was that Gucci went out on stage. He made a couple of statements concerning the, the person that tried to come and take his goods and potentially even murk him. Now, now, recently, his son has come out. I believe his name is uh, Quentin Left Side or something like that. P Pookie Low Son, I think it's Quentin Left Side or something. But I mean, you know, you, you're like, yo, man, you should have checked this joint out. Yo, man, fall back, okay? Quint Leftside Ross is his name. Now, your boy came out on social media talking about he is now getting death threats. Hear me out here. Death threats. The man whose pops was killed. The, the man whose pops was killed is now getting death threats because he is upset that his father was killed. You see the ridiculousness within the culture here? Yo, take a look at this clip right here. I can see the view, my page, my my Instagram, my story on Facebook. Uh, like, I'm doing hella views. These folks chomping at me hard. Say I'm clout chasing all that. I'm just saying, that. They say I'm a little too loud. I told them to come pipe me down. Why the hell I gotta chase the clout if I'm just trying to defend my dad? That past well bitch said they smoking on y'all shit. You feel me? Y'all, y'all would've got damn got on set too. You said something. You know what? Right, they I'm getting death threats, all type of shit. Man, cool, this shit, shit getting out of hand. Hey, yo, your boy said, man, I'm doing I'm doing crazy views, man. These folks chomping at me hard. They talking about I'm clout chasing in the whole nine yards. They, they, they saying I'm too loud, but if they want me to pipe down, they need to come and pipe me down. Okay? Why the hell I got to chase clout if I'm just trying to defend my daddy's name? Yo, I feel bad for the man. I mean, everybody's pops did something crazy, right? And if their pops got punished and they, you know, they, they their pops got punished, they would be hurt too. Mommy, he said, yo, if it was one of y'all people that passed away, uh, a B say they smoking on y'all ish. Y'all feel me? Y'all would be upset too. <laughs> Look, he said it ain't right. And then he said he's getting death threats, all type of ish. Look, man, none of this makes sense to me. Okay. I mean, like we said, you know what I mean? Fruit, fruit loops, different color, same flavor. None of it makes sense. Okay.
Yo, let us know what you think. What's the last toy you played with? Like, whether with your kids or by yourself. Ladies, how can I say this? Let me just keep it going. What's the last toy you played with? Yeah, yeah, put it in the comment section, even if it's that, okay? I played with a remote-controlled car, and the thing was, that remote-controlled car was hot to death. You see what I'm saying? It's like they improved them joints. And is Mulatto allowed to change her mind? If she didn't want to get specific with her race before, should she be permanently blocked from adjusting her thoughts? I mean, you want to change your mind, lady? Get the hell out of here, man. We don't do that here. Stay static. Stay the same. Stay crystallized. You know, I mean, none of that. And yo, hit us in the comments below. Be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news.